friends 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 how are you guys doing hope you had a wonderful day so this video will be very short um i hope to analyze as a, um, a reality tv researcher <laughs> an analysis an analyst um and analyze the situation between Nunku and londi and you know tell you what i think about it um i'll be very technical but i think you would understand at the end of the day so Nunku is for 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 context Nunku asked to load a lot of questions in this trip first one is what happened between you and amy thompson amy thompson who is a uh, uh, one of the cast members of the real housewives of durban second in fact also last week Nunku asked londi londi where have you been you know since we know that londi came in late third Nunku, um, we found we had Nunku speaking with her, the Alliance group about you know uh, Londi saying hey Londi experienced some issues with her visa. Number four, we had Nunku asking Londi in the dinner that Londi, what really happened? Now, this is my analysis. So someone like Nunku, the role first of all, when you have to understand, you need to be very objective. And you also have to remove yourself in the situation and remove your emotions. And you also have to remove what you think you know about Nongu based on what we've seen and analyze the situation from an objective objective point of view. First of all, Nongu's character, I would, re, I would give her uh, the title, the force multiplier, especially on this episode nine. She is the force multiplier. This is someone whose actions, they sort of influence or prompt certain prompt certain people you know to speak and reveal more things so in this episode she was a force multiplier there is a lot that we can learn from this scene if you analyze it objectively from nungu and also there are certain things that londi omitted to do that i think she should have done and i will tell you what are those things um at the end of the day so nungu was a force multiplier because through her we got to understand what happened between Amy and Ulondi because some viewers had confusion, thought Ulondi is the girl that Amy was talking about. Yes, Londi and Amy were connected, but um, it's not what we think. So, pardon me, guys, if you hear the noise in my in the background. Um, so, through Nongku, we were able to get that information and clarity. Second of all, um, Nongku having had a private conversation with Londi, was able to give us as viewers, because, I mean, this is a question that we've had as viewers, that where is Londi, right? So through Nongu, we were able to find out, is it good for her to share private information or not um, in public without Londi's presence? Hey, I don't know. I don't think it's a nice thing, but at the same time, it's not like it's damning information or it's information that is incriminating. It's just that she had issues with her visa. So um, number three, is it okay? It was good for her to ask her, especially on episode eight, to ask her, hey girl, where have you been? Now, when Uncle went wrong for me is asking again on episode nine, right? Um, that's where we're going to analyze that and I will tell you what I think about it. So, for those reasons, Nongu was a force multiplier on episode nine. Now, um... The issue here with us as viewers is not the questions, is who is asking the questions. Because I feel like if I was sitting and uh, as part of, you know, the, as, as a content director, what I would have done to protect also Nongu is to say, let's see, okay, there's what we call, there's a, a, a term we call beats, which is sort of like uh, predetermined um, scenes or, or conversations. So, before people sit down, you sort of have a structure that, hey, these are the topics that we're going to tackle. Because, I mean, you can't just make people sit on the table without having any structure of how you want to shape the conversation. Because what's going to happen, people are going to talk about, oh, the weather is nice today. The trees are green. Of course, the trees are green. But we, this is Rated TV. We're working with time. So we need content. So what I would have done is I would have also asked maybe Lassie or anyone of the cast members to say, hey, can you also probe and ask this question so now what makes it seem bad is because nonku um is asking and has been persistent now it is annoying it annoyed londi now i've got some tips that i would have given Lord. i said guys this would be a very technical video but i hope you are still following me if it's if it's deep tell me now on the other side when it comes to ulondi 
um, this is a reality TV show, right? A reality TV show. So you can't fly to Jamaica and expect certain and, and expect that you're just gonna have fun. No one is gonna ask you about questions that are personal. And Londi is a very mature person. I think she was aware that people are gonna ask her these questions. And of course, they we are entitled as viewers to get answers to some questions. Where have you been? Why did you come on the last day? You know, on the, on the last few days. And also, Lita, what did see you at the airport? What happened? So someone was going to ask anyway. It just that it happened that it's Nongu who asked. And of course, Nongu's credibility and, you know, she does not have, of course, right now, she's not the favorite person, you know, in terms of the viewers of the show. And people sometimes watch the show with preconceived ideas based on how you've seen Nongu. You're like, ah, Nongu was wrong for asking those questions. I don't think she was wrong. Um, my issue with her is the inconsistency. The fact that you did ask her on episode uh, eight, and then you went to ask her privately, and then you are now building it publicly. So then it does show that maybe your it does then seem uh, disingenuous right Yeesh. is that the right way disingenuous is that the right way i think so so it does not seem genuine so that's my analysis of the whole situation now what it should have learned done to um um mitigate the situation if you know that in the show there are questions that you're gonna be asked what you normally have to do is you speak about those issues before people ask you so that you cover up your tricks. You know that someone like Nongu, who is a force multiplier, is going to come and ask you those questions. So the way that you diffuse that force multiply is that you answer questions before they even ask. So what Lodi should have done in the table is say, hey guys, can I clear something in the air? You know, let me clarify why I was late. So Nongu will have no power, right? And also what Lodi could have also uh, done is when someone like Nongu asks you a question, don't be defensive, just say, give them the answer then they will not get a moment the more there will be no momentum from from the whole you know right now so Lodi became defensive and she started you know and then it it, it you know everything was blown out of proportion she would have easily defeated Nongu if Nongu asked her and she said you know what Nongu I'm gonna answer you but I don't appreciate maybe this and that but I will let me answer you this is what transpired so now she just went up high and became very defensive and now she started it sounding as if she's, you know, or of course, when someone is on a defense, you know, it becomes very combative. So this is my analysis of the whole situation. I don't think Nongu is wrong, but this would have been production side should have also done a, made a way to say, hey, let it not just be Nongu who's curious about this. Let other people also ask questions to Londi Londi, where have you been, you know, in front of the camera. So Nongu probed and she had some backlash from for asking this question, you know, but I don't think it's wrong entirely. It's just that us as viewers, because it's Nongu who has a bad past, we then look at it from that, from those eyes and not be objective that, of course, we want to find out why are you late? And I think Nongu only asked a fraction. She did not get into deep. There are questions I still had for Ulondi. Londi, were you driving a test? Were you financially... Um, you know, of a stretch at some point. Londi, I heard that you assaulted a journalist with your man. You know, those are some of the questions. In fact, she did not even go deep. There were many questions that I had myself for Ulondi. So, yeah, I want, I'm want. i just analyzing the situation on a broader scale and also in an objective scale to say Londi could have avoided this by just telling the story before Nongu even asked. That is the best way you can, you know, handle someone like Nongu who is... um. A, a force multiplier. Nongu reminds me of Giselle from the Real Housewives of Potomac. When you are a force multiplier, you are likely going to be hated by people. But honestly, when you look back, when I, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine that, okay, you know what? I think in years, maybe in five years from now, we will look back and be like, Nongu was very smart. Nongu has, has always clocked the T. You know, she gave, she was like to any on season three. Any, why were you having, you know, like she sort of highlighted that there are issues and fractures in Annie's marriage, you know, and from there on, we, we know what, what we've been hearing, you know. So I think because it's Nongu and sometimes she struggles with articulation, then we then be like, ah, Nongu is wrong for that. But I don't think those questions are wrong. We want to know, give people what they want. That's all from me. Thank you. <laughs>